Stone, and I'm giving this one the yellow light because there's nothing great about it, but there's nothing that bad about it either. But I did kind of like the context of what he's saying here, because when you look at what he's done in his career and who he is and all of that with him running with Bone Thugs and Harmony who ran the music industry for quite some time that was over successful for their times to the point that they changed the way music was made. How people always want to say it's between them and Twister who invented the fast flow and all of that stuff, man. When you consider all of this and consider the fact that he's saying that he's still learning every day trying to move forward with his life and all of that, man, it's very powerful message that everybody needs to adhere to. Because sadly, too many people get to the point where they feel as though they learned everything. You can't tell them anything. They've already so successful that you being so little, you can't tell them or help them learn anything. When that's ultimately untrue. We are ultimately going to live and learn until the day that we die or else we're going to go backwards. That's just the reality of life. You always got to be pushing forward. Even though I feel as though he put it in the completely wrong way to the point where he's saying just let me live my life so... He's saying, let me go ahead and make my mistakes so I can learn from trial and error and continue to move forward that way. And that's honestly the worst way to learn. Like, if you have to do it, you have to do that. But yet, if you got any tools that you can learn from other people's mistakes, or you can go ahead and research something so you won't have to commit these mistakes, that's going to set you back for quite some time. That may mess you up as he's saying that he's seen people go completely mad and stuff, man. Then you should take that information and run with it, dude. There's no point in committing the same problems that everyone else is doing when we get all of these things out here to tell us that we don't have to do that. Like, we live in this current generation instead of trying to do things trial by error. As these things he's talking about that he's learning lessons and stuff from is ultimately the pain that comes with life. That comes with being in the music industry with people trying to get over on you. All of the betrayal that people was once close to you are doing towards you. Seeking out his purpose in life and finding his own religion to align himself with and such, man. Like, ultimately, a whole bunch of deep stuff, but I feel as though that production was super light, but yet it really wasn't that great. And the overall song really just didn't come together and it didn't come out very good. But a quick recap here, man. The pauses that I'm taking from this is I did enjoy the concept of what he's talking about. The whole message behind it is very deep, something that we all need to learn from. But yet the negatives is it just wasn't that good of a song. But this concludes today's review, man. And now we're going to jump to a brief instrumental from underground producer Corner Boy Music before we take some of your questions. So Yoshi asks, how do I feel about Kathy Griffin cutting off and decapitating the head of Donald Trump and having all the blood on it and all of that stuff, man? And, you know, in the words of Huey Freeman, eh, I could really care less because, one, she's always been this type of comedian and all of that stuff. And honestly, I don't find her very funny. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to downloadpads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.